Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Another beer from Zach Avery from good old England. This is the Durham Brewery Temptation, 10% ABV. Uh, it says it's a high quality handcrafted ale, uh, Russian stout, a style that was exported to Imperial Russia in the 18th and 19th centuries. Massive body supports coffee and licorice flavors. Malt sugars are balanced by traditional golding hops. Contains hops, barley, wheat, water, and yeast suitable for vegans. And if you look on the other side, it says, camera says this is real ale. I've never seen it on a label before. That's really cool. This ale is bottle conditioned. It is live sediment, which continues to mature and develop the flavor and character. Store upright and pour gently to avoid disturbing the sediment. So they actually make a point of saying don't pour it in there. Um, really excited about this beer because this is an authentic English Russian Imperial Stout. Never had one from England before. Um, I think they actually started the Russian Imperial Stout style. And uh, I like how it says, camera uh, says this is a real ale. They said it's a real ale. If you don't believe me, you can, you can just check it out. It doesn't, you know, it's 10%. I'm not smelling any alcohol. And it doesn't smell like a traditional American Russian Imperial Stout. Um, it smells like more just like any other regular old stout. Like it's, you know, the roasted malts in there. I mean, I guess if I really pay attention, I get like a little bit of, you know, alcohol in the nose. But, uh, um, you know, for such a strong, potent beer, I'm actually surprised it's not more aromatic. So hopefully it makes up for it in taste. Cheers. Yeah, you know, I was actually just talking with uh, Chris Deltz last night about, man, it's it's very rare that I get a beer that throws me for a loop, but just one swig off the uh, the Temptation here, it's finally, it's a, a beer of a style that I'm used to, but it doesn't taste exactly like I'm used to. That being said, um, let me tell you what it actually tastes like. It, it's remarkably sweet. I mean, they made a point of saying how sweet it was on the label here. Um, it has like this, like kind of like black cherry, black raspberry kind of flavor to it. I mean, they they, they say on here, you know, it's, you're gonna get coffee and licorice. Maybe that's what I'm getting, like that kind of anise black licorice kind of flavor. Um, finishing with the kind of toasty malts and like an, uh, a noticeable alcohol warmth to go with it very very smooth super smooth um, I mean I probably wouldn't call it refreshing but damn smooth it's it's not like one of those thick viscous viscous used motor oil RISs it's drinking more like any other regular 4% kind of stout like that one um, hope the Brits don't mind me using a Guinness glass for this but um, yeah like Really tasty. I'm getting the coffee in the aftertaste. It just lingers. It's like a lingering, kind of like a burnt toast kind of, of malty taste on there. Super, super soft mouthfeel. Um, I just, I really dig that sweetness there. It's not, it's funny because like it's not really chocolatey. It's, and I don't think that's what they were going for either. It is definitely kind of black licorice kind of like a black, like I said, kind of like black cherry, black raspberry, like a darker fruit kind of flavor. Yeah, really enjoyable beer. Um, I don't even have to finish this off. I already know what I'm going to say. I'm going to give uh, a solid 8 out of 10 to The Temptation by the Durham Brewery. It's, um, it's definitely an interesting beer. I haven't really had a lot of you know, I'm not a huge fan of Russian Imperials, even though I always tend to give them at least an 8. Um, same thing's true with barley wines, but... Anyways, you know, it's it's a really good beer, it's really tasty. The drinkability on it, considering how big it is, is, is amazing, very impressive. It's, um... It, you know, it tastes a little bit different than I'm, what I'm used to, so that's, you know, definitely interesting. But, at the same time, like, that, the flavors that are there aren't, like, blowing my you know, not knocking my hat off or whatever, you know, my hat is firmly in place. <laughs> so, um, thanks to Zach Avery for sending me this beer. 
And uh, I still have one more left that he sent, so we'll get to that pretty soon. So thanks to you guys out there for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.